If there is one thing that I regret about 2014, it's this. I did not see Birdman, and I did not get a chance to put Birdman on my top 10 best movies of 2014. <laughs> So Birdman is directed by Alejandro Arenato. I was gonna say that part because if I say his whole name, I feel like it would be disrespectful to this amazing director, and I don't want to mispronounce his name. So I'm just gonna say that, okay? And it stars Michael Keaton, Zach Galifianakis, Edward Norton, Emma Stone, Naomi Watts, a lot of great actors in this movie. And essentially what this movie is about is about a washed up actor, you know, he's trying to get back into the spotlight. You know, he, back then, he used to play this awesome comic book character called Birdman, and now he's trying to make his, sort of like his comeback. You know, he's directing a new Broadway stage play, and just things are not going his way. As you can tell from the intro of my video, I fucking loved Birdman. Birdman is one of those types of movies that it makes you appreciate film and movie making. This is the reason why I love movies, because they're an experience. Birdman is an experience from the first scene to all the way the last shot of the film. I was invested into this entire movie. As I was watching throughout this entire film, I could not take my eyes off the screen. I was just so invested into the movie. I could not take my eyes off it. I was like, these performances are amazing. And the dialogue between the characters is so entertaining. Let me begin by saying that the cinematography is one of the best aspects of this movie. Why? Because it looks like it was just shot in one take. If you're a fan of superhero and comic book movies, you should definitely check out this movie because it definitely has commentary in it. It's not saying like, oh, superhero movies are bad or comic book movies are terrible. No, 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 no. But it gives an insight to an actor who's playing an iconic character and what happens when they are done playing that iconic character. It really dives deep into that. And the performances are amazing. Michael Keaton, without a doubt, I think, in my opinion, should win the Oscar. I haven't seen any of the other guys, but so far, right now, my pick for Best Actor at the Oscars is Michael Keaton. He is so damn good. I can't express how damn good he is until you see the movie. You have to see it for yourself, and including Edward Norton, who is also amazing in this movie. So is Emma Stone. I can't stress enough of how great Zach Galifianakis is. Like, he is truly awesome. Once you guys see the movie, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, he is awesome. All the acting in this movie is great, top notch, no complaints about that. And the best thing I could say about this movie is that it impacted me. As soon as the movie finished, I, I just stood there in awe of like, was this a masterpiece that I just seen? Because Birdman gets an A+. This is definitely a movie that I highly recommend for everyone to see. Not just film lovers, and that's what this movie did. It gave me a hell of an experience and something that I will never ever forget. So guys, that's my review for Birdman. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day. <laughs>